The bar ball threatened to take his big baller brand AAU team off the court Friday after he was given a technical foul by a female ref. She was replaced in the middle of the game, and Adidas, who ran the event, said it was their decision. LeVar spoke about the ref after Friday's game. Let's take a listen. She got a vendetta because she's, she's a woman I'm trying to act. I get that she's trying to break into the referee and thing. But just giving texts and calling fouls, that's no way to do it. I know what she's trying to say. I gave LeVar, I gave him a check. I'm strong. That ain't got nothing to do with it. Just call the game. If you're going to be qualified, you better be in shape, and you better know the game. And she's bad on both of them. She's not in shape. She's not calling the game right. And she don't understand. So now she's trying to make a name for herself. So she's walking around like, you know, I'm the only woman in here. Yeah, we get it. I don't care if you're a woman or a man or whatever. Just be good at what you do. Don't try to step in the lane. She needs to stay in the lane because she ain't ready for this. <laughs> Coach the little kids first and then come up. Because she ain't did enough. She ain't got enough on her resume. I can tell. We're joined once again by Rob mm. Parker. Rob, what's your reaction to this? This just terrible. I mean, you, we talk about a bad look. It, it is a bad look. And first, before we get to LeVar, I want to say this. The other referees who work with her, shame on them. Because if they would have removed her and I was working, I was another ref, I would have walked off with her yep. and said, you don't want her, then none of us are working. Mm. How's that? Right. Because you can't allow that to happen. And Adidas trying to take the, the, the brunt of, oh, well, we did it. No, it's not right. It shouldn't be done. But LeVar continues to do the same old thing. It's a tired act that's bad. And what is this anti-woman thing I'm, I'm getting? I just don't. She's out there refereeing basketball. Does he know her resume? Does he know who she really is to say all this stuff about her? And she's trying to make a name for herself. Why? Play the basketball game. You gotta play through refereeing. We all know that, right? Yep. Referees make mistakes all the time in basketball. And they have vendettas. Right? Occasionally. Yep. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. But you gotta play through gotta it. Play through you it. just have to. Mm -hmm. You can't let them be the ones to decide the game for you. You gotta keep playing. It sends a terrible message, and I don't understand why he continues his self-destruction as far as people not wanting to like you. He's done a lot of good things with his boys, which I admire. His idea of even having his own brand, I admire that as an entrepreneur. I think that's all good. Mm -hmm. But this other stuff is what will make people say, I don't like this guy. I'm not going to buy anything that has his hand on it. And I don't want to be involved or pay attention to anything he's involved. I don't get this part. By the way, just for the record, Court Club Elite, owned by Ed Rush, the former NBA official, withdrew now they won't supply refs going forward but to your point i'm with you they should have in mass just said okay we're out i'm out we're, yeah. we're out then yeah. and i know i'm you're right they but did come back and i'm glad right but they right then and there forward. they should have just said no if she can't ref none of and us then, are then there was a compromise made for the next lavar game in which there was supposed to be two female referees but when the game started it was down to one female referee so go ahead shannon hmm, let me see I would like, I, I will say her resume of being an official is better than LeVar's as being a head coach. I'm willing, I feel real comfortable. I feel really safe in saying I'm that. I'm with you on that. And for you to call, because she's a woman and she made a call that you didn't like, would you have had this outburst had it been a man that would have called this tech on you? Would you have gotten as upset? It doesn't look right. You're the leader of men. When you're a coach, you're almost like a father figure to these yeah. young men. Oh, you are. And you're saying that well, they're literally going, to one of them. Yes, he's your son. In, right. actual, <laughs> in actuality, yeah. it is Lamelo. Yeah. But you're telling these young men that we're going to have some adversities in our lives, not just on the court, but you're going to have some in life. So what are you supposed to say if you have an adversity in life? Oh, just quit, just go home, and just lay in your bed and wallow. Mm -hmm. He's telling, he's teaching these young men. If someone makes a call on you and you don't agree with it, as Skip, as you said, take your ball and go home. This is so ridiculous. This is so asinine. This makes it very e It makes it easier and easier for me. And I've been one of his staunchest supporters. But it's making it easier and easier for me to like, hey, at this next stop, let me off. I'm going to let you go ahead and go this one alone. This is unacceptable. There's nothing he can say. I don't care if she called 20 texts. There's no way for him to talk to her and to act the way he did because he's saying it's okay to quit. It's okay to, you know, they, you, they make a call you don't like, I'm out. 
So not only am I going to quit, I'm going to act a fool in the process of me leaving. And then B, obviously being female was an issue. It wasn't just, he didn't just say it's a bad call and I didn't like it. It was about her being, and, and then say she, she wasn't in shape. From the video, she looks like she's in pretty good shape to me. I don't I, know. I didn't see anything oh. wrong with her no. uh, right. uh, physical shape. Okay, let's get to the bottom, bottom of this. Let's not spare Adidas here because... Yeah. Who created this AAU monster who is LeVar Ball? Adidas created oh, yeah. this monster because Adidas is not sponsoring this tournament out of the goodness of Adidas' heart, mm -hmm. right? It's not philanthropic for them to give high school kids a place to play in the sun. No, that's not what's going on here. They want to make money, number one, off these games, and I think they make a nice chunk of change off these games. And number two, for some of these kids, they want to – hope that they become Adidas clients yes. going forward, right? Right. So, and especially the Ball family, you don't think there's Long. some negotiations going mm -hmm. on behind the scenes there? So, LeVar has them at a very big disadvantage. So, LeVar can do whatever LeVar wants to. And now we have the ultimate creation of what Shaq and Charles Barkley often criticize as AAU babies, right? Yep. These are the ultimately spoiled AAU babies coming out of this because they're some of the best players in America being sent the worst possible message that you could send, which is, if you don't like those calls, just quit. Really? It's, it's so wrong, and LeVar has to know in his heart of hearts, it's just wrong, and yet... LeVar gets away with what he's and, – and, again, his promotional genius is, like, beyond – he is P.T. Barnum reincarnated because he has genius about what he's doing. And we're still talking about yeah. LeVar, but the biggest reason we're talking about LeVar is because his number one son is the polar opposite of everything LeVar. He shares the ball to a fault, and he says next to nothing to the media, Right. And I think the number one son is about to change the fate of Laker Nation. He's going to be the new face of it, and I think he'll be able to stand up to it. And way to go, LeVar. I'm, I'm not sure exactly how much you had to do with, with this the number one son, but you had to have something to do, and so did the mom. Yep. I think the mom had a whole lot to not do. Not only should you yeah. quit if somebody, if the official makes a call you don't yeah. like, you should act the fool on the way out in the process and after when you're doing an interview. Mm. Well, the rest of the AAU teams should be angry also because yeah. that's an unfair advantage to him. If he can just complain when he doesn't like a certain set of referees and demand that they change them and they're going to accommodate him because he brings in some sort of celebrity or uh, viewership. If I was on the other teams, if I'm the parents of the other kids, and there's a lot of them, I'd be complaining also. Mm, no Rob, doubt about thanks it, for man. joining us. Four-time Super Bowl champion Bill Romanowski joins us next. We'll ask him about Odell's contract demands.